Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandAndAirPhotos.com. In this episode, I will begin a series of videos to showcase the most popular drones on the market today by providing sample clips taken by seven different drones. Can you tell the difference? Late 2017 going into 2018 is a great time to buy a drone. The newest drones offer some great features like collision avoidance and 4K resolution at up to 60 frames per second. But the previous generation of drones provide some incredible opportunities for great aerial photography platforms at a fraction of their original selling prices. So many drones, so many choices. For someone shopping for a drone, it can be difficult to decide which one is the best choice. You might think video quality is the main factor for a video drone, but it's not. The truth is, I think most people would have a difficult time looking at one drone's video and being able to see that it is better or worse than another drone's output. Don't believe me? Let's put it to the test. In a moment, I'm going to display groups of unedited video clips in random order. These clips were taken by seven drones. DJI Phantom 3 Pro, DJI Phantom 4 Pro, DJI Mavic Pro, DJI Spark, Autel X-Star Premium, Unique Q500 4K, and Unique Typhoon H. Keep track of your guesses and I'll tell you at the end so you can see if you're right. Here we go.
Those are the clips. Do you have your guesses ready? Here's the right answer. So how did you do? Was it easy to pick out which video came from the lower priced drones like the Spark, the Q500 4K, or the Autel X-Star, or the pricier drone like the Phantom 4 Pro? I'm betting the average viewer will think all of the clips are excellent. Especially when the video is downsampled to 1080p and posted on YouTube, most people would have a hard time seeing a big difference in video quality from drone to drone. Maybe you could see the difference. So consider this. The prices on these drones vary by a thousand dollars or more. If you look at the drones strictly from a video quality perspective, is the difference you see really worth a thousand bucks? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends on you. So what's my point for this demonstration? I'm going to release a series of videos that look at several of the top drones on the market right now. As I begin this series, I want to start with the premise that each of these drones will give you great video. We can get all caught up in sensor sizes, megapixels, and bit rates, but I want you to see that you don't have to spend top dollar to get video that you'll be proud of. Instead, I suggest you consider each drone in terms of four factors. Quality, features, price, and ease of use. Quality means great video, but it also means durability and reliability. What about the drone's track record for mechanical problems or firmware issues? Features offer a wide separation for all the drones. But what features does each drone have that are important to you? Which features will you actually use, and which ones are pointless marketing gimmicks? Price is obvious, but it includes more than what's on the drone's price tag. How much are the batteries? Do you have to buy a smart device along with it? What about a case or an extended warranty? Ease of use takes several things into consideration. How easy is the transmitter and app to use? Is the app prone to glitches? Will your smart device work with the system? How difficult are firmware updates? What about the company that made the drone? What's their track record for customer service? When you balance the importance of these factors, you can see why selecting the right drone is a very individual thing. Everyone has different priorities, so there is no one drone that's the right choice for everybody. So that's how I'll address this series. I'll feature one drone per episode, I'll talk about that drone's pros and cons, and then break the four factors into several grading points to give you a complete look. You can then prioritize how important each one of those grading points is, and with that information you can select the right drone for you. Let's get started. My first episode in this series will feature the DJI Spark. By the way, this series would not be possible without AcesDeals.biz loaning some drones to me for testing. You can find most of the drones I'll review at acesdeals.biz. If you use the link and the coupon code in the description below, you'll get a discount on the drone, batteries, everything. You'll save money and get great customer service, and you'll be supporting this channel. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Sharing is caring. If you would share this video on social media, I would really appreciate your help. Speaking of social media, nice segue, right? I set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find links to more videos on how to fly drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released.